This spirited man has decided to make an episode about sobriety, but now he doesn't want to do it. He is unable to draw a conclusion about his sobriety. The more he thinks about his 3,133 consecutive substance-free days, the fewer conclusions he's able to draw. So he thinks. He's afraid that without a conclusion, the viewer will feel cheated. So he called a friend, a friend with years more consecutive substance-free days than he. And from the conversation, this spirited man took away two things about sobriety. First, that he should speak only about his own experiences. He should not act like some sobriety expert. Maybe talk about what it was like, what happened, and what it's like now, she said. It was like this at times. Chopping through a door to save someone from heroin. It was like this at times, exploring an abandoned, insane asylum. Or like this, motorcycling through Maine. And like this. October 7th, 2011. 67th and Broadway, Steve Jobs died two days ago. Or this, the cast was a result of a drug-induced motorcycle crash. And what happened was he lost his mind and called a friend. And the friend recommended he go to meetings. They call this the big book. And there's a reason the title on the cover is nearly illegible. It's so outsiders can't tell what you're reading. The book is full of stories and suggestions, and along with the people and the meetings, it helped him stay sober. For this spirited man, reading the book, attending those meetings, years of those meetings, listening to thousands of stories, and working with others, has kept him sober for 3,134 days today. Did he do the steps from the book? Not really. Should he? Probably. Will he? Maybe. But the program feels miraculous. What's it like? Miraculous. Ten days sober. And I can make soap, it's just fat cells and lye, and I'll make out of soap, and I'll make some soap out of you when you die. Uncontrollable tears and bad poetry about soap. Miraculous, emotional, and difficult. The second thing 
his friend with more consecutive substance-free days than he said, was that she tries to be in service to the newcomer. It is not lost on this spirited man that when he was a newcomer, the now sober man he had once saved from heroin helped save him. And he's grateful for his sobriety. He protects it with all his might. He misses those meetings and the newcomers. He understands that his sobriety makes all the other lovely things in his life possible.